Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Basins and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. I also just put out my September content calendar so be sure to check that out so you know what to look forward to and subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. So today we are redoing our laundry room. It's not a huge laundry room by any means but it just needed a little bit of an upgrade. We already got a new washer and dryer this summer. Thank goodness they have been working well. We did already have to replace the dryer because it came with a dent and then the washer um, stopped working. But I swear they don't make them like they used to. But anyway, here is the before. And the first thing we're doing, of course, is just taking everything out and putting this basketball net in the boys' bedroom and just taking everything out and setting it aside. So now that everything is out, I am taking down the shelving in here and this turned out to be two boards. I thought it was one board, but it's actually two. And I was dying to see what kind of wood was underneath because they were extremely heavy. So I thought, you know, this must be some good wood up in here. <laughs> Sorry, I cracked myself up from time. So anyway, taking out all this wire shelving, I am not putting this wire shelving back up here on the side. However, I am going to save the other wire shelving and just make a little faux shelf for it like I did in our linen closet back home. It's incredibly easy. But anyway, we're outside now taking off this wallpaper that they had on these boards and I am going to save this wood and just leave it in its original state. I'm not doing anything to it. I'm just saving it. And there's something that I just love about that, like keeping something from the house. You know, we've done a lot of renovations and I don't know, I just, I love that we're keeping this. Now that we are done that, Chris is just measuring for the size of wood that we're going to need. I'll have all the information down below because I forget what the board was called, so I'm going to ask Chris and write it down in the description box below. But we went to Lowe's and the board that we did wind up getting was 70% off, which was amazing because it was slightly damaged and we wound up getting like 10 pieces of wood from it. So I plan on making like some front porch signs and things like that so stay tuned for that i'm excited for all of the fall diy content
All right, so now I am taking out the wire shelving temporarily just so I can put up some wallpaper. The wallpaper was a whole thing. First of all, I only wanted it to be like to the top of the shelf. So I didn't want it for the whole like laundry room. I just wanted it for a specific spot. So I wound up returning the other case because I originally bought two cases of this, but it was pretty easy to work with. You know, wallpaper is always, you know, it's, it's not a walk in the park, especially when you're trying to match up a pattern, but overall it was pretty easy to work with and it was affordable. So all of this was pre-butt scratch. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that at one point when I was going to get more wallpaper, I jumped off of the washer that I was sitting on and the scissors were there. So I have the biggest scratch, actually I have two of them. One that's actually on my butt and the other one that is on my thigh and it was crazy. Like I bled through a bandaid, I thought I was going to need stitches. but. Luckily, it's okay. It's just in a really annoying spot. It's a huge pain in the butt. But you never loved someone. But you never loved somebody like I just did. But you always hurt the ones. Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with. You don't know nothing. So now I'm just using this board to measure out where I want to end the wallpaper then I'm just using the exacto knife to cut it off. Hurt me, hate it when you call me up. Uh. 
I always see these people with these beautiful wallpapered rooms and I'm just like I can barely do this small portion of the laundry room because it just takes a lot of patience like I don't know how people do the whole bedroom and wallpaper I love how it looks but I think I might need to hire somebody because this little spot took me a while just because I'm not used to it by the time I was on my third strip I felt like I finally had the hang of it I don't think it's true. You say I know you got, but baby, all you got is you. You promise me your everything, but never see it through. I don't think you truly love me. If you did, you wouldn't hurt me. This way, this way. I love how the wallpaper looks with the original wood and now I was just like do we have black spray paint and Chris was like a matter of fact we do so I just spray painted these little bars that go under the wire shelving and I just feel like it gave it a little bit more character Okay, so this was Chris's first attempt at covering the wire shelving and the first piece of wood that we had was too thin. He couldn't get like the nail to go through and actually stay in with this front piece here. So that's why we wound up getting a larger board, which you'll see later. You'll see me staining it and all of that. But you win some, you lose some, and you learn from it, right?
So now I'm just touching up like any random spots where I see blue. Um, we recently had the whole downstairs renovated, so when they did that, they painted a laundry room for us. So um, at least that was fresh paint. So it's basically a pure white paint over the blue, which gives it this like bluish hue that I actually kind of love. Right, the wire shelving is back in and now I'm just staining the wood that we just got back from Lowe's to get. Oh man, it was it was a lot. Taking four kids into any type of store can be really stressful, even if they're all good. It's just the like worry of one getting away and just keeping an eye on all of them. So I did this after they went to bed, but let me tell you, it was it was stressful, but you have to, in my opinion, keep bringing your kids places. Like we go out to eat a lot or, you know, just anywhere we go to the movies. We try to do a lot of things with them because they need to know how to be in public. Just for some reason, like going shopping is my least favorite because they're like into all different things. And I don't know, today we went back to school shopping for school supplies and for shoes. And then I'm gonna take them individually clothes shopping on their own because one, it's more attainable and two, I just feel like it's special for them. Um, but shoe shopping today is just like, Everly was into like 10 different pairs of shoes at once. Ella was trying on like size 10 high heels and the boys were just like looking for specific shoes that they were only picking up men's sizes. So you just have to be really patient and take it for what it is. That's like my best advice as a mom, but I would be lying if I said it wasn't stressful taking four kids into a store. Doing this little project did really remind me how much I just love doing stuff like this. Like I love making things over and I love creating things. I am really excited because I'm gonna bring back all my fall reels and shorts and stuff like that like I did last fall. I did a fall Friday where I would always do like some type of recipe or a fall DIY, but I'm coming out with the content schedule for Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm going to upload three times a week there as well and that will start in September. Once the kids are back in school, I'll have a little bit more time to focus on work. So one of the bigger parts of this makeover was redoing the doors originally. Like we wanted to just like put wood over top of them, like try to make some design, but we quickly realized that would be a hot mess and honestly just like too much work for what it was worth. So 
we are taking these doors off completely. We purchased new doors at Lowe's and then we are painting them like a gray color that matches the kitchen cabinets. So at this point, I was truly living life just painting and watching Real Housewives of Orange County because I needed to catch up. I feel like I watched like four episodes while I was painting because although it looks very fast on here, it took a while to paint and stain everything. But again, like I truly do love it. So I guess I wouldn't say I was watching it. I was more so listening to it, but it was still great and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. In your shirt, cause it's ours. Brush my teeth while you're taking a shower. If there's one thing I know, there is power in ordinary love, ordinary love. Don't you ever say you are not enough, baby, you're enough. So don't you be afraid and take a leap of faith. It doesn't have to be holy. Did your kids start back school yet? I feel this year, cause last year they started in August and I was so happy that they were gonna be starting in September this year. But now I personally feel behind because it feels like everybody has up all like their fall stuff already, which is fine because obviously, you know, you do you and I do me and that has, both of them have nothing to do with each other. But I just personally feel like behind. I'm also like our school doesn't give out teachers until like the week before school starts which i feel like is not enough time to get what you need they have like a standard list for each grade but then each individual teacher usually has something that they want specifically too so like i'm in this spot right now where i'm like trying to hold on to summer we have this weekend like a fun event called lagoon of lights that um, our township does every summer on i think the last weekend of summer or before labor day and it's really cute. A lot of people decorate their boats and they basically do like a parade and it's fun to watch. We are not confident enough on our boat yet to be out at night, but maybe next year we'll join, but it's still really fun to watch. People even decorate their houses. So it's like, it's weird because I'm like wanting to start my fall content, but also at the same time, it still feels like summer for me. Um, but I think we're gonna wind up going back after Labor Day. Um, and just going from there it's going to be a lot to get used to and obviously having this bay house and our regular home is such a huge blessing but it comes with some weird feelings because we're so happy here and we love it here so much carter asked if he can go to school here and tanner doesn't want to go to school here he loves where we go but obviously that's not something that we're going to explore yet um, and actually, I don't know if we'll ever move here because I think that we just love it so much because it's summer and we still have a place to come during the winter for like random weekends. Last year we came here um, for New Year's Eve and just made ice cream sundaes and it was just so much fun, just like a nice little getaway. But it is weird feeling because we're so sad to be going back. But at the same time, I don't know if it's just because we're going back or if it's because they're sad that like summer is technically over for us since school is starting and sports and dance and all of that stuff. But anyway, I don't know, I'm rambling, but that's just how I'm feeling right now.
this was an amazing Amazon find. I'll have like a little laundry room link down below for you to find everything. But it's basically a giant clothesline <laughs> that goes and folds up really compact into the wall and I just absolutely love it. So I'm excited to have that. This also gave me the confidence to redo our laundry room at home, which I've been wanting to do forever. Um, but we want to do that a little bit differently. We don't want shelves, we want cabinets in there, um, which is a little bit more work, but thinking that'll happen in October and it will just, I know it'll just make it feel a lot more finished because right now it just, it doesn't feel like that at home. We have like two random boards on top of the washer and dryer that were like left over from some other project and the, they're always moving all over the place and it just needs to happen. So. Anyway, this is how that works. I am obsessed. And now next, I'm just adding all my finishing little touches. This is also from Amazon and it holds like your broom and your mop and that kind of thing. And I love that it comes with a 3M strip. However, it is like a heavy metal. So Chris went ahead and screwed it into the wall. So these jars I love because they're actually plastic but they look like glass and then they have like a steel type lid so it, it's a really good quality and I don't really need glass in the laundry room because you know of things moving because of the washer and dryer shaking or because of kids in general so it's a set of three the bigger one I'm using for my dryer balls and the smaller one I'm using for our loose change that you find in the laundry I think it's always a good idea to have a spot for that because I always find loose change in the dryer. This is my first time using these dryer balls. I can't really report on them yet, but in the winter, um, Ella gets eczema and my mom always says, did you try not using those wool balls because I, my skin can't take the wool dryer balls? So I was like, you know what? Let me try this. In the summer, her skin is absolutely amazing because she's getting lots of sun and salt water and all of that. She has no eczema in the summer. but once in a while in the winter she'll get like little flare-ups so anyway i also ordered these towels for our guests when they come swimming or go to the bay and they don't have towels they look a little bit better than the bright ones stay tuned because we did get a bunch of stuff for the back deck here and one of those things were deck boxes and that's where we're keeping all of our colorful kids towels so that they can just grab them when we get off the boat or when they're done swimming out back So that bin I'll link as well was left over from the pantry bins, also from Amazon. And then these are just the little collapsible laundry baskets that fit perfectly. And then my favorite little plant that I have these all over the house because one, they're not real so I can't kill them and they just look really pretty hanging off of everything. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on Sunday.